Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this journal on Monday, week 138. As per usual, I'm working in my journal on Monday, our journal. And today I'm starting with two colors from the chalky finish line from DecoArt. I'm applying them randomly over the two pages. And when I'm done, I'm going to slightly blend them together. Once my first layer is dry, I can go in with the Crackle Medium from the DecoArt Americana line. I'm applying a generous but not too thick a layer, and I'm especially paying attention to having the medium all over the spread. The secret to beautiful crackles is to leave it to air dry. That's what will give you the best result. And now that it's dry, I can go in with my third layer, which is again a chalky finish that I'm applying using a sponge to have a really thin layer. Today's video is about 21 minutes long and it took me an hour and 45 minutes to do the whole spread. Now I also have an extended version of this video, which is one hour long. It is the Patreon edition. So if you would like more information on the products that I'm using, on the techniques, on the why I'm doing what, which way, on why I'm expressing certain things in a certain way in my journal, I can only invite you to join me on my Patreon page and you can find the link in the description of this video. Maybe I'll see you there. To bring back the colors from the back, I'm going in with some sanding paper to scrape away the last layer, just to show the colors that I started with.
Next up, I'm using my rock formation stencil, the large um, format of it, and again with one of the chalky finish. Just applying a very thin layer again over the stencil to have some accents here and there. To add even more accents, I'm going in with a uniball pen, a white one, using my rectangle stencil, the large one, just tracing some rectangles over the whole page. Then using another one of my stencils, the Rusted Rivets one, the large version of it, I'm going in with some crackle paint just to add that one line. I decided to go back in with the white pen to add some more details. To accentuate the white on the spread, I'm using again the same chalky finish, adding some water to it and then adding some splatters. These are pieces of cambric that I took out of my cambric jar, which have been colorized or not. The last one is just a plain white one. The other one have been colorized previously for other projects. And then I can start working on my focal point, which will be the dragonfly of my creepers and crawler stamps, stamped with memento and colorized with Copic markers.
I want to add some rusty details that I have in the cambric um, on the spread as well to make the whole thing work together. So I'm just adding some splatters using that same color. And now I can start assembling everything and I'm just using decoupage glue from DecoArt. I picked one of my word stamps from my Perfect Word stamp set from Illusionary Artist and I'm stamping it with Memento so that I can give it some color in the same way that I did for the Dragonfly. Before adding my wording, I ran my art journal through my sewing machine just to add a line of sewing over the fabric and the crackle paint. To make my dragonfly stand out, I'm adding triple thick glaze all over it and that will give it some more dimension and it will make it stand out from the spread. And now I can glue my wording in place. I 
I decided to add some shading using new colors and water. Last part for the spread is to add some actual journaling. I'm first going in with a white gel pen and then I'm going to go over it with a black pen. And to make everything work together, I'm adding some doodling around the wording.
That's it for today. I hope you liked today's spread. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you back next time. Ta-da!